Hi guys, so those lovely people over at WizKids recently sent me some more awesome framework Dungeons & Dragons miniatures and these are them and yeah I think they are awesome looking so the great thing with these ones is obviously they come on the frames and it means you can cut them off but they also come with a variety of spare bits so some of these guys have got spare heads, spare arms, spare weapons um, yeah spare all sorts so as you can see obviously this is the uh, like a warlocky kind of figure uh, but as you'll see on the box he's actually holding different things and this is where it's pretty cool that you can sort of mix and match and, and basically have them how you want and the great thing obviously is well you've got all these spare bits and pieces which you can then sort of use and adapt on other figures which is something I'm definitely gonna be doing soon so yeah that's pretty awesome and obviously it also means I've now got a good batch of sprues um, and yeah I'm gonna be turning them sprues into something very soon so yeah so basically it all happened a few days ago when this lovely big box turned up on my door um, yeah so I was really surprised on just how many uh, miniatures they sent me um, it's certainly a good variety of in here of sort of obviously the demons and monsters uh, as well as hero figures which is pretty cool so yeah I couldn't wait to get them out and see just exactly uh, well what I'd, I'd got basically um, so yeah there's quite a say quite a good variety here um, I believe these figures are all gonna be out next month so as of March I believe these go on sort of like general or public release, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yes, I'm very fortunate that they sent me them um, ahead of time, uh, which is great. And as you can see, they all come on the sprues um, and they're unpainted. So obviously you get to paint them yourself, which is pretty cool. So these are the ones I'm going to do in this video. Um, I am going to go through and pick out some others and do another video, uh, as well as making some sort of like backdrop little diorama for them. But these are the ones that sort of caught my interest first. As I must say, I do like I like ogres, um, just because obviously they're big, beefy, chunky, and they've normally got a sizable weapon with them. Who are? So yeah, it's a case of obviously just cutting them out. Um, obviously, you do have to sort of clean them up a little bit. There will be a few little uh, sort of sprue bits here and there, um, or maybe even some join lines. But um, yeah, it's easy enough to clean these up, and especially if you've been at like Warhammer and just generally other sort of miniatures that do come on sprues. Um, you will be pretty adept and good at sort of cleaning them up afterwards. So yeah, they obviously all come off nice and easy. And I say obviously, if you've been with my channel for quite a while, you know that I do like making things out of sprues. Um, something I haven't done for a good few months because obviously I've moved more to D&D &D now uh, as opposed to the Warhammer that I used to do. Um, so yes, it's going to be fun having all these sprues and seeing what I can make with these. So yeah, keep, uh, keep tuned for those ones guys. So yeah, so these obviously come in halves, so it's because of gluing them together. Again, I've been doing quite a bit of sort of cutting and cleaning um, on these ones. I think it's just the bigger figures that presumably come in sort of the sections. Because the smaller ones, they generally come the main body and then just maybe an arm or two here and there that you sort of glue together. So yeah, it goes together really easy. Obviously, you do, there's a little, uh, little diagram that you can see in the background there on assembly. And say this, this one came with a variety of arms. Uh, well, four arms in fact, um, but these are the ones that I, I like the look of. I do like a big old club, so I've gone for a club and the old uh, sort of knuckle dust a bit. Uh, but where the bits did join, there was a little bit of a gap, not much, but enough that I felt a bit of green stuff in there obviously would sort of make it look obviously better for once it's fully painted. So yeah, as you can see, I've got quite a few bits left over, and I've now got most of the, the figures assembled, and yeah, quite a good variety of <laughs> extra bits. So this little set actually comes with two ghouls in it and again this is where it's great the fact that there are a variety and a mixture of, sort of arms and weapons so even though there's two in this box you can make them look slightly different uh, which is pretty cool so it doesn't take long to obviously cut them out and glue the few bits together and then basically obviously prime them in white uh, ready to paint and the reason i've gone for the white primer is because i'm going to use the, the speed paints again from army painter um, just because I've used this a few times but I want to try and use them more um, just because obviously they do live up to the name and they are well pretty fast apologies for the video here I don't know what's uh, going wrong with my basically I use my phone to sort of video what I'm doing um, and for some reason it had this sort of glare on it even though I did clean sort of where the lens was it's it's having a few issues um, it's probably because it's an old phone I've dropped it loads of times and yeah I kind of need to get rid of it and use a proper camera really um, but the phone's so nice and easy to use just because it's small and slim and obviously doesn't sort of get too much in the way when I'm trying to paint. 
Um, because if I've got a big camera, then yeah, I might have a few issues painting. But hey ho. So yeah, kind of doing these in a bit of a sort of a batch. I'd pick a colour and then do a little bit of that on all of them. Um, yeah, speed paints, they say they really are good. Um, the only difference or main sort of difference when using these as opposed to normal paints, they are obviously wetter for a bit longer. Um, as in, they, they don't take long to dry, but they do take a little bit longer than your normal paint. And you need to be careful not to sort of do two lots of speed paints next to each other, because um, they might bleed into each other, which obviously would give a good effect if that's what you're going for. So yeah, so it didn't take long at all. I mean, say, honestly, speed paints, they, they do live up to their name. They are speedy. Um, yeah, it didn't take long to paint this guy. So pulled him off the little uh, little stand he's on, paint his feet, and yeah, he's ready to glue onto a base. Um, job done. So I think it almost took longer to assemble, which didn't take long at all, than to actually paint, uh, which is pretty awesome, because it does mean that I can obviously then paint um, a lot of these figures quite quickly. Which is cool because they uh, whiz kids sent me quite a few of them, uh, which is pretty awesome. And there we go. So I think basically it only took about two hours for me to assemble them, as in like cut them out, glue them together, um, and then paint them. Uh, just because as I say it is nice and easy, nice and quick, and the speed paint, yeah, it's speed paint. So yeah, really pleased with the figures. Again, the detail on them is pretty awesome as well. Um, I haven't really mentioned that, but yeah, lots of detail in the figures. Um, and I say the fact that you can sort of mix and match them is just awesome. So I have got quite a few sort of spare bits, and obviously with the other figures that I've got, I am going to start mixing and matching um, sort of shields, weapons, and, and sort of general bits and pieces, just to see sort of how much fun I can have with them. So yeah, guys, there'll be a link in the description um, to these these figures, so you can go and get these. So I believe they are they aren't out until next month, but you may be able to pre-order. I'm not too sure. Um, and I'll leave a link to obviously speed paints as well because that's something definitely something worth checking out. Um, I'll say one thing I would have liked to have done, I think definitely with these the bigger figures, is I'm definitely gonna like magnetize them. Um, just because it'd be more fun to be able to sort of interact, take the, the arms off and put new arms on. Obviously with the smaller figures, I think that might, might be a bit too impractical. Uh, but a bigger figure, um, yeah, I mean that's definitely an option. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I just want to say a quick shout out and thank you to all my patrons as well as the sponsors for helping making it possible for me to sort of keep making these videos and obviously buying the materials I need to build stuff. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave comments down below, hit the like button, all that good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, take care, bye for now.